like cold November rain. Like a man without a name. Hey guys, welcome to part two of my garage entryway makeover. If you guys are new here or have yet to watch part one, I encourage you guys to pause this video real quick and hit the link up there just so you guys don't miss anything that happened in the last video. And for those of you guys who already watched part one, let's do a quick recap of what has happened in the last video. So we started with a pretty basic garage and then we finished with doing some drywall and finishing that all up in here, as well as texturing and painting the walls. We also got some of the barn wood cut so it's ready to go and get put up in this video. And then we finished by starting to sand the stairs. Okay guys, so we're gonna be jumping right back into it and we're gonna be starting with finishing up sanding the staircase and then moving on to the wall and putting all the decor and everything up. So make sure you guys stick around because you're definitely gonna wanna be seeing the end of this video. So without further ado, let's get to it. So now that I'm done making a mess with the mud and paint, I thought it was a good idea to get the staircase kind of cleaned up with my orbital sander real quick. And as I'm cleaning it, like just, I haven't seen the staircase this like new looking, would I say, in a while. And I almost kept it just the way it was. And we'll kind of talk about that later. Um, how I was feeling after I stained it, but we're gonna move on to starting our barn wood wall right now So if you're thinking about building something like this I want to give you a few tips to help you along the way first measure out your studs You might remember in the last video I got everything measured and pre-cut to make putting on the wall go a lot smoother you really don't want to be measuring and cutting as you go. It just ends up taking a lot more time and can give you more room for mistakes. Next, I would say if you have the space, lay out the wood so you can plan ahead where you want all the boards to go. Again, saving you tons of time. I was easily able to hand Kyle the boards to start nailing instead of having to run around, grab which board I thought would look good, and then just kind of piecing it together it just ran so much smoother when you plan ahead now Kyle is using a brad nailer to nail all of the wood up here I gave it a shot earlier I should have like videotaped it I tried it and I'm honestly kind of scared of the thing so when I did it the nail didn't even go through it kind of bent out so I let Kyle do the rest of this so I didn't mess anything up. But hopefully along our journey, I'm going to be learning to use a lot more of these tools and just feel a lot safer as I use them as well. So a lot of practice, but hopefully in some upcoming videos, I will be trying out this Brad Nailer as well as maybe the nail gun. Who knows? as you can see the wall is pretty much done um, and I'm gonna be moving on to staining and painting these stairs I first got to wipe everything down so I'm gonna start doing that now and then hopefully we'll be putting on shelving and all that stuff and getting ready to decorate within this day so wish me luck guys <laughs> I just want to start by prepping my area and making sure all the dust from the sanding is gone. That way there's really no imperfections when I start staining. Forever and 
Now that the stairs are all cleaned off, I'm actually taking the black paint I used on some of the barnwood pieces to paint the front of the stairs. I had found this look on Pinterest. It was just a little bit different. They had painted the front of the stairs like I'm doing now black and the rest was white. But because this is a high trafficked area for so many different things, I didn't think white was the best color to have out here. With the front painted, I'm going to move on with the stain. I went with a weathered gray color. I had more of a wood color stain earlier and I wasn't completely sold when I tried it. So I decided to take a risk and try this color. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, when I finished, I was not in love with it. I actually contemplated sanding it all off and starting over. But everyone reassured me that it looked really good. So we actually went on vacation right after this was finished. So I had that time to be away from it. I don't know if it works for you guys, but sometimes when you're working on a project and you stare at it all the time, you need a little break from it to actually just get a new perspective and that's pretty much what happened when we came back I could see that I actually liked it the way I stained it and everything and kind of pulled everything together once I decorate it as you'll see later on throughout this video but I'm so glad I didn't waste my time and re-sand everything. Shadows of where we have been Sleeping with your back facing me So now that the stain and paint is done, I'm going to let it set overnight just so it's fully dry and then in the morning I'm going to coat it with some polyurethane just to give it a little more durability as well as a little extra shine. If you guys remember the small shelf that we took down earlier in the previous video, we are going to be replacing it. So I decided to take the old shelf and repurpose it into a sign I'm going to hang above the door. I really wanted to make sure that the sign tied into the room so I took some of the white paint I used on the barnwood pieces and then to give it that distressed look I just took the sander and went over it a couple of times. I had went back and forth on whether I wanted to paint on the words here or use vinyl before I had 
used the vinyl just as stencils and I really loved how it turned out so I decided to go that route here as well if you guys do do this just make sure that the vinyl is really stuck on the piece of wood or whatever else you're sticking the stencil onto that way the paint isn't seeping underneath and messing up your lettering and I just took some acrylic paint that you get from Walmart and um painted over these probably about two or three times just to make sure it had that really good coat and I will show you guys here in a few how it turned out um I'm actually gonna have Kyle build me a frame I think for this um with out of some of the barn wood that we have left over and then again just to tie in um everything into the room So here's a quick peek of the wood that we just cut to replace the old shelving. And then earlier this year I had purchased some brackets for another project and I had some extras laying around so I thought it would be perfect to use out here especially because they match the hooks that we had got and I will show you guys those a little bit later as well. Let's do something fun while we finish putting the shelf on. Let me know in the comments who is more the perfectionist in your house. In ours, it just depends. I'm more the perfectionist when it comes to decorating or cleaning or just organizing overall. But when it comes to building, it's Kyle hands down. He makes sure everything's measured out and marked level before moving forward. I'm just kind of like, um, let me knock and see if there's a stud behind there. Uh, this looks eye level good and you'll see later on let me know later on in the comments if you guys find what you think that I put on because you can tell if you look close enough that something is uneven I fix it later on but I definitely could tell and I even used a tape measure in the stud finder it just came out looking all zigzag but again let me know if you guys catch my mistake After weeks of working on this garage entryway, we are finally ready to start decorating. I'm going to start by the door and work my way down. Now we're going to go with more of an earthy natural look with all of the decor and by using more of the neutral tones, we're going to help bring that sense of comfort and coziness you kind of want to feel when entering your home. Now 
a little tip of mine, if you have extra space in your vases that you need to fill up and you have plastic bags laying around or even newspaper or something like that, you can just crumble those up and put at the bottom of your vase just to fill that void down there. That way it looks a lot more full when you are finished. Something's off The way you look and how you pause When you talk I think you said enough You said you love for me Something brand new You said this is something You would never do Here we are in a car Let me see who you are Who you really are Kyle finally finished framing out my sign and I absolutely love how it turned out. And like I said before, it just ties the barn wood all together. Okay guys, we're finally finished. But before we look at the huge transformation, let's recap what everything looked like from the beginning. If you remember, it was pretty much like any other basic garage. And there was a lot of work and time that went out here. But I will say it definitely was worth it. I want to thank everybody that was out there watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and hope you join me in my next video. Mm -hmm.